Hello everyone. So as I mentioned in the last video, I wanted to go camping and Von Westy had other plans. And what I meant by that, the coolant bottle back here, which is in the original, you can see the original Volkswagen Audi emblem there on the cap. Um, either the cap or the tank or both have failed uh, to some degree because it's starting to leak coolant out of it. There's about a centimeter split underneath the cap. Um, again, this is the original. So it's 34 years old. It's time for a replacement. Uh, all of the brown that you see along the edges of the tank and, and back here where the uh, temp sensor is for the tank, that's coolant. And that's really disappointing because last year I flushed this thing out to where it was running clean, uh, clean water. And then I filled it back up with distilled water and penicillin coolant. Uh, and it still looks like this now. So there's going to be some coolant upgrades, and uh, I'm going to go over to the bench and show you one of them now. This is what's going to replace the plastic tank. This is from Van Cafe Rocky Mountain Westy. This is their tank that they manufacture. So it's got really good, it's all metal construction on it, uh, solid uh, hose connectors, good pressure cap on it. I will have to switch out the electrical connectors that are on the van now to this style so that uh, this temperature sensor can work on it. But uh, I think that's gonna be money well spent there. Could I have bought one of the cheaper plastic reproduction tanks? Yes, I could have. Um, I've heard some mixed stories about those. Some of them, you know, where the plastics have split either at the threads or the blue cap isn't working too well. And I just thought, you know, with this right here, yeah, it's a little bit of money, but it's money well spent and uh, peace of mind. So. Along with this, I'm going to be replacing the thermostat. I'll be replacing the fan resistor for the radiator fan. And I've got a bare South African made radiator on the way. Those are becoming a little bit difficult to find. Uh, but once that gets in, I'll be filming new content about uh, getting those old components off the van, putting these new ones on, and uh, then getting the system filled up with coolant pressure tested, and then uh, hopefully we can go have some new adventures. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.